Welcome to Light and Love Wednesday. This is Lorraine Purcell, your host. I'm here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern at facebook.com forward slash Lorraine Purcell MA. And um, this is the day that we, uh, we become a vessel of peace for the planet, um, not ever underestimating our contribution by being at peace, by being at calm, by not getting caught up in the dither that's going on around us and staying really aligned with the energies that we know are flowing through us that are good and right and positive and wonderful. So um, just give me a second to um, post to my groups that we're live. And um, as you jump on, if you would, Tell me in the comments that you're here because Facebook no longer shows me if you're hanging out. So uh, that would be awesome because I love knowing that you're here. It makes my day. All right, hacks for anxiety and depression. We are live, facebook.com forward slash hello rr Lorraine Purcell MA. There we are. Post. And now I'm going to just copy that. I love Facebook how it makes it so easy for us. Whoops, did it do it? says live issue, but I don't see an issue here. Okay, go. All right, and then uh, going to Women's Self Love Journey Group. There we are. Paste, whoops, I guess it didn't do it. <laughs> oh well, we are Live, Facebook, live, Facebook, Facebook, F A C E B. Vicky, good morning. Dot com forward slash L O R R Lorraine Purcell M A. Post that. Okay, good. Now let's see if it'll let me copy this one. Oh, nope, that, not that. <laughs> Having trouble with the copy function today, which is all right. Your great big life. We are live. Facebook. Dot com forward slash Lorraine Purcell M A. There we go. And let's see over at the business suite. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see who's here. <laughs> My computer has been very lagging lately. Kathy, good morning. Georgia from Australia, blessing sister. Yay, Vic. Okay, now I'm just going to go to the business suite and say we are live. Okay, create post. We are live. Okay. Go add a picture. Photo. In order to publish on Instagram, please select the media. Huh. Okay. Oh, I got this beautiful... Um, Pineapple, and I'm just smelling it. It's so beautiful. Pop 
publish. All right, Joey's here. How was your celery and peanut butter, um, Joey? <laughs> How was it? All righty, so you guys get to witness me making my celery juice again. I at least got it soaking in the sink. So here we go. I'm going to sit you right here while I finish washing it and then making it. Can you guys see okay? So tell me how you're doing. How are you doing with your intention this week? I'm just putting a little bit of seventh generation dip, dish soap in to clean my vegetables. Um, how are you doing with your intention? We set an intention on Monday. Mine was to fall in love with my inner being. And I've been getting closer to my inner being, which has been fun. Now there's a big round piece. Yang. So I just got off my walk. It was nice. My walk was, I think I'm doing eight pounds when I'm walking. Eight pound weights. All right, so that's going now. A little bit of scrubbing. It doesn't take much. You just kind of soak it. How are you doing with your celery juice, Georgia? Most of the dirt just comes off with the Soap. Plus, I soak it in water first, filtered water, because I don't want tap water soaking into the celery and then getting that in my juice and ingesting it. So how are you doing with your intention? Do you remember your intention? Do you want to set a new intention? Anything goes. You can do anything you like. So write in the comments what your uh, intention. What was your intention on Monday? Mine was to fall more deeply in love with my inner being. So I can hear my inner being. Okay, I think that's good. All right, so I'm gonna let the water out. Okay, and now is the juicing. Georgia, that's wonderful. That's okay that you're not doing it well with your intention. You know, it's okay. Just remind yourself or start over again or make a new one. <laughs> Something that feels better and that you can do. It's all good. It's all good. Nothing is more important than that we feel good. Vicki, intention to stay calm and go with the flow. All will be good. Feeling it and slept great last night. I'm glad to hear that. That's wonderful. I just 
been a little more mindful of, um, you know, hanging out with my inner being. Not making it a big deal, not like a really strong deal. Just be gentle with it. Um, I've been hearing lately about being gentle with ourselves. Being kind with ourselves. Thank you, Vic. So who else is here? Tell me in the comments that you're here. Facebook doesn't show me anymore. But Georgia, congratulate yourself for doing the best thing. Like, that's okay that you are doing the best thing by doing celery juice and not adding anything to it. <laughs> you can add things to it later. It's a wonderful drink, but it doesn't do what the celery juice it by itself does. Um, allergies have been crazy. Raw honey is great for allergies. Yeah, and thank you. Hi, Daphne. Thank goodness I don't have allergies. It's just like, it was just a little sneeze, I think. But I don't know, maybe I do. Uh, let's see, Georgia, I wanted to get back to your comment. Where's Georgia's? <laughs> Joey's saying that this Yeah, that, see, that's amazing. Got a, the book today on why it's meant to be good. Did you get the Anthony Williams Celery book? Also go to Apple Podcasts and listen to Anthony William in his um, podcasts on celery juice. That's how I do it. I have all of his books, but I don't read them. I just use them as reference because I'm not really a reader. I'm not a researcher at all. But I'll show you the book I have. So which book did you get, Georgia? If it's not Anthony William, just beware of saying you can add anything to it because a lot of people have taken his message and uh, bastardized it by saying other things like that, which are not true. You cannot add anything, not even ice or water to the celery juice to get the benefit of the sodium cluster salts that completely restore your body. And I'm doing this with you guys. I love doing this in the morning with you guys. It just helps. I mean, in the, now that the, the days are getting shorter, I find that I'm waking at 7-ish, and I just have time to start soaking the celery and going for my walk. And so that's my first priority is getting my walk in. And I figure I can do this with you guys. So, yeah, so tune into the Apple Podcast, Anthony William on the Celery Juice. Uh, Hope is here. Yay. Hi, honey. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for joining me for Light and Love Wednesday. This is when we are focusing on our peace so that we can, uh, so that we can um, spread that energy of peace to those around the world who totally need it. Okay, that's good. That's my last stick. Yay. Yeah, that's great, um, Kathy. A teaspoonful of raw honey every day. I just came back from the honey farm. Oh, I've got to show you what I got. Got this whole thing of beeswax. Isn't this amazing? It smells so good. I'm going to start making my own lotion and adding this to it. And you know what I love is when I um, take the, the water out of the sink in the celery, there's all this dirt in the sink. I just love it. I mean, it comes from the earth, and it's so wonderful. 
So now I'm straining it. Isn't that a beautiful color? Okay, leave that for when I make it for my son later. And I'm going to move you guys around. I'll be on the other side in just a second. Awesome. Good morning, everybody. I was going to show you the Anthony Williams celery juice book. Well, it happened. <laughs> Something happened. Oh, there I am. I'm trying to get this to be bigger. Not happening today. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. I just want to again remind all of us that Never underestimate how powerful it is that we stay in peace so that we can emanate peace and goodwill everywhere we go, especially the negative is being uh, blown out of proportion. So now I can't at all, which is kind of rough. Wait, is this it? Okay. Wait. There I am. All right. Now I can see. Um, that we stay in peace and remember the truth. And what I wanted to do this morning is share these cards that I have been, you know, writing and gathering for you all. For us. I'm sorry, not for you all. For us. And uh, to share for inspiration. But I want to go grab... Uh, This is the book I recommend for celery juice by Anthony William. Is this the one you got, Georgia? His books are so beautiful. And you know what's great? He channels them from spirit of compassion, which I think is awesome. A lot of people criticize him for that. Not in this group, I don't think. <laughs> so let's see. Hey. Okay, great. So you got that book, Georgia. Good girl. I love all of you guys. Hope's here. Daphne's here. I have such good news. I have been selected to share my Beauty for Ashes Empowerment Seminar, Spiritual Empowerment uh, con uh, in Dallas, Texas, a women's conference. Yay! I dreamed about me being there. And they contacted me yesterday while I was at work. My daughter just moved to Texas, so I will be able to see her. Now I need to manifest the plane tickets to show. Oh, sorry. This little link to show. Okay, hold on. Oh my gosh, is it because I have water on this little thing? It's just not moving. Hold on a second, Daphne. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> that is so wonderful. Uh, my daughter, okay, just moved to Texas. Be able to see her. Now I need to manifest plane tickets to show up. Dates are 12, November 12th to 14th. So let's just throw energy to that for our dear Daphne. So proud of you, girl. You're doing it. You're doing it. Dates 
November 12 to 14. Someone blessed me with the financial of conferences, workshops, teas. Yes, 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 yes. So, of course, the money will manifest. Of course. But be open-minded because it manifests through a credit card. That's a form of money. So, be open-minded. Be open-minded. There's nothing wrong with credit cards. I know there's some theories out there that there is. Okay, good, George. I'm so glad that's the book you got. I don't understand how people could critique him for that, for not that I've read yet. Yeah, you won't hear about that on uh, in his books. You'll just hear about that in his live streams. Okay, so first one I'm going to read is Henry David Thoreau. If one advances confidently in the direction of his dreams, <laughs> this is for you, Daphne, and for all of us, and endeavors to live the life which he has imagined, he will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. He will put some things behind. He will pass an invisible boundary. New, universal, and more liberal laws will begin to establish themselves around and within him. Or old laws be established, expanded, and interpreted in his favor in a more liberal sense and he will live with a license of a higher order of being who has experienced this mary i'm so glad yes 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 so glad you're here um who has experienced this the laws of the the earth plane moving for you because you are operating in the higher order of beings Meaning, one who is, um, one who is operating by his imagination and not by what you see with your eyes and hear with your ears, but operating by your imagination. Those of us who live by our imagination are of the higher order of beings. We're solidly on the earth plane. But we don't use it to uh, limit our capabilities. Does that make sense? We're solidly on the earth plane, but we don't use it to limit our capabilities. We are expanding beings. We are expanding. We are expanding. We are expanding. Daphne, since joining this group, my dreams have... been coming true. I am becoming the Cinderella I wanted to be. All we need is a fairy godmother and blessed earth angels and fiery faith and drive. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, Daphne, thank you, my beloved sisters. Or sister hugs. Um, okay. So I love that. I love that because I am determined to get the most out of this life possible. And you can't do that if you're looking at what is and focusing on what is. You can notice it to go, okay, I don't really want that. I want something else. Um, but if you're always looking at what is, you just keep getting more of what is. And that's, what, that's the trance everybody else is in right now with the news and people complaining and worrying, um, that's the trance. And so all people are getting is more of that and building momentum on that. And we're about here taking our eyes off of the yuck, putting our eyes on all the beauty, on all the wonder, on all the amazing, and then having that expand because there is nothing but the stream of well-being. Everything else is just what people have magnified. Does that make sense? Humans are made to thrive, but are habituated and taught to struggle and suffer. Mm. Catherine Ponder, it can and shall happen through the omnipotence 
of persistence, perhaps just when it seems least likely. Through persistence, you can be one of those happy, victorious people who not only chase dreams, but who catch them. The persistent man also perseveres long enough for his dreams to catch up with him. Do you get it? Like when we ask, it is given, but then our job is to act as if we are already in it. And I'm, I'm watching myself a lot lately. How much am I thinking that it's in the future or how much am I actually sitting right here as if it is now? Happiness is the new rich. Inner peace is the new success. Health is the new wealth, and kindness is the new cool. Is that wonderful? Motherhood is unconditional inclusion, not biology. I love that. So the feminine energy is unconditional inclusion, which is what we do here. And thank you, Daphne. What we do here. And by the way, Women's Self-Love Journey is tomorrow, those of you who are in the group. And um, we're going to be talking about balancing the masculine and feminine energies. We all have both in it. When we burn out, it's because we're doing too much of the masculine energy. So we're going to be talking about how to manage masculine and feminine. And I'm going to put the link right here if anybody wants to join us. www.womensselflove journey.com. Did I get that right? Women's self love journey.com. Yeah. So go there and check it out. It's a wonderful program. And I'm going to be adding new modules soon and adding a one-on-one -on -one coaching component. So I'm excited about that. Just got off a call with my team in Scotland yesterday and we were discussing how to go forward, and that was one of the things that we decided we're gonna add. So I'm very excited. All right, let's see what else we've got here in this inspiration pile. So feminine energy is inclusion. Every day ask, what can I do to bring more of my light to the planet for the welfare of humanity? That's kind of like our byline here in this group. Ah, oh, this is a great one to say over and over again. I am so thankful and grateful that a conscious world has been born. We're creating a solution rather than tracking injustice. All right. So I am so thankful and grateful that a conscious world has been born. I am so thankful and grateful that a conscious world has been born. That's from Matt Kahn. Oh, this is from him also. I've used this for a long time. Whenever you see chaos going on, say this. I trust the consciousness of all and bring forth the highest consciousness that I am. And that's how we harmonize disharmony. And when we see media or we hear something that's not fun, that's what we say. I trust the consciousness of all and bring forth the highest consciousness that I am. When I hear somebody, you know, honking their horn at somebody or um, good, good morning, Darcy, or, um, you know, someone being unkind, I always say that. I trust the consciousness of all and bring forth the highest consciousness that I am. Because the person being unkind is simply acting out because they're doing the very best they know how. Does that make sense? There, it's, and, and it's happening in front of you so that you can douse it with the energy of love, okay? And go on a media cleanse. It means don't pay attention to the media and get that all cleaned out of your system and start afresh with the truth. Calvin Coolidge, one of our presidents, persistence alone is omnipotent. Defeat may test you. It need not stop you. Regard apparent, apparent failure, disappointment, or defeat simply as signposts that success is just around the corner. <laughs> Use them as greater incentives to forge ahead, and suddenly there will loon, loom upon you, uh, upon your pathway, your heart's desire. Be prepared if success comes suddenly. Wow. So how do we prepare if success comes for if success comes 
suddenly we practice the vibration of the success so that when it shows up, we don't freak out and run away, right? <laughs> Catherine Ponder, success has a way of coming in a hurry after a long haul of plodding along quietly. Oh my God, can we relate to that? As you persist toward your goal, get ready for fast, exciting, success-filled results. Have your plans carefully in mind. I do. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Have your plans carefully in mind of what you will do when success arrives. Because just when it seems least possible, just when it seems least possible, the tide will turn for you. Then it will be necessary that you take a deep breath and proceed to accept your flood tide of good step by step as already planned. Let's breathe that in. Oh my gosh, that is just exquisite, 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 exquisite. I feel that. Where do you feel that in your body? I feel it in my chest. I feel it in my, in my abdomen. This is so beautiful. So it's practicing the vibration so that when it comes and we stay the course and we don't faint because things aren't sounding like they're going to be like they're so successful because we stay the course because we stay the course. Then it all floods in. Then it all floods in all of a sudden. So interesting. done Ooh. okay here's something else I wanted to read to you all this morning from the game of life and how to live it how to play it so man is his brother's keeper in thought and every man should know that the thing he loves dwells in the secret place of the Most High and abides under the shadow of the Almighty. I love that phrase from the Bible. Okay, I'm going to read that again. So man is his brother's keeper in thought. And every man should know that the thing he loves dwells in the secret place of the Most High and abides in the shadow of the Almighty. There shall no evil befall thee, Neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling, especially appropriate right now. So if we abide in the secret place of the Most High, we abide with our desires, we abide, we align with it. We don't doubt that they're coming. We stay in, in the groove. We follow our inner being. We see more. We see, um, we see it and feel it coming in. That is dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. So if we are in that space, no evil shall befall us and no plague should come near our house. Perfect love casts out fear. He that fears is not made of perfect love and love is the fulfilling of the law. So simple. So simple. So the message this morning is Dwelling in the secret place of the Most High, which is dwelling with your desires. Kathy, I'll be cooking on Thursday with my sisters for my brother's celebration of life. I'll catch the replay. One of my sisters and her husband with a, was in a motorcycle accident. Sis will be home today. Her husband will be in the hospital. Oh, so sending love there to his hospital room and to your sister. Oh, my gosh. And your brother just passed recently, sending so much love to you, Kathy. Three of us sisters will be in the hospital. Okay, three of us sisters will be helping while, we are, while they are home. So thankful. That's just so beautiful. Your family is going to be together. Sending so much love to that, so much love to that, so much love to that. Okay, so let's start breathing to Mother Earth. We've gotten ourselves into this aligned state by these beautiful words that have been shared from the greats that have gone before us. And um, so now let's just take advantage of that. Ground to Mother Earth. 
see if there's a message from Mother Earth to you. Mother Earth, what do you require? She's saying, hold your head high. Mother Earth, hold your head high. More and more I'm getting this message, like no matter how you feel, sending wellness and healing to my sister. Yes, 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 yes. We are our brother's keepers. We are our brother's keepers in spirit. Our job is to stay feeling good. That's our job. As our energy stays in this place, we are emanating that out. We are emanating that out. Once you've heard from Mother Earth, come back up to your feet. We're going to do a quick counterclockwise spin up through our body, just aligning everything. See every one of your 50 trillion cells as smiley emojis. Every cell is getting everything it needs. Every mitochondria is getting fueled. It's getting fed all the way up, 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 all the way up. Any messages? You getting any messages from your body? Friday, we're going to, it's High Vibe Friday. We will be going into our bodies and checking in on those 50 trillion cells. What are they saying? What are they wanting to communicate to us? All the way up, 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 all the way up. All the way up. I'm getting trust, 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 trust. Okay, now with this beautiful aligned energy, we're going to send this out. Just be and. See, so you're like a power plant anyway. So we're just sending this energy out, sending this energy out, sending this energy out, sending this energy out, blessing everything, 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 everything. What? Darcy, so sorry. Oh, sweetie. Thanks for stopping in. We should talk about the patches because people are healing a lot. People are healing fast with these things. All right, uh, so blessings to you with your specialist. So sorry you broke your ankle, honey. <laughs> wow. Oh, so much love and so much healing on you. So now with this beautiful aligned energy, we're just sending this all over the planet. Eight billion brothers and sisters with hearts that are clenched in fear, we are sending love and opening to all of their hearts. Love and opening to all of their hearts. Love and opening to all of their hearts. Yes, 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 yes. Love and opening to all of their hearts. I see white light spreading all across the planet. I see white light filling each of our houses, spreading through to our next door neighbors, across the streets, down the roads, filling our cities, then our states, then our provinces, then our regions, and then our countries, and then spreading out over the um, oceans. <clears throat> Blessing the water. Mother Earth is telling Kathy, keep your energy high, trust what's within you. Yes, 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 yes. Mother Earth is telling Georgia, keep going. Yes, 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 yes. Truth, 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 truth. I pray in this time of misinformation that truth would come out. The truth, truth wants to be discovered. Truth is always, it's like a bubble. It's like oil. It comes right to the surface of the water. That's truth. It's always on its way up. 
and the forces are trying to hold it down, but it will always come up. Truth always comes up. I love, 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 I love. I see every heart opening. I see white light going into every single heart. I see light permeating their walls. I see darkness being pushed back. Daphne, truth, truth, truth shall be revealed. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Yes. And we know, we know the truth already. It's us holding the faith. Holding the faith is really important. Holding the faith is what holds it all together, guys. Always know how powerful we are by holding our faith. Walking in faith feels really good. It's, it's, faith is a substance of things not seen, the evidence of things hoped for. So it's the thing that you hope for, it's practicing that vibration as if you were in it now. So let's just do that right now, that white light is just spreading, is feeling it happen. And by you, yes, but Daphne, I love, I love, I love, I love, I am, I am, I am, I am, yes. Put your hands on your heart and just say, I love, I love, I love, I love, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. I am, 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 I am. Yes, 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 yes. Send me so much love to everybody on the planet. Just this blanket of love going to everybody. Blanket of love, blanket of peace, the peace that passes all understanding. This is not understandable, right? What we are practicing here, we can't understand it with our, our human brain. It's from another world. Breathe in all the white light. Breathe in all the white light. All the love. All the love. Trying to see what that is that you put in there. It's so light I can't see what the figure is, Daphne. I can't I can't make it out. Okay, this card wants to be pulled. See what this card is we are mystically living in the supernatural yes we are we really are i mean life on this plane is supernatural <laughs> oh they're doves so nice it's so nice daphne they were so light i couldn't make out what they were nothing gives me more joy than to see each of you come more and more and more into your dream that is the biggest thrill for me. All right. Oh, we had this this um, on Monday. Akasha. This is brilliant. Okay, I'm gonna read Akasha. Akasha. Akasha exists in the fifth dimension and the library of souls. And that's when we are in this plane, you guys, we are in the fifth dimension. We are not walking by sight or by feelings. We are walking by faith. We are walking by what we know to be true rather than what's evidenced around us necessarily. Although there's so much good around us, you could, you could focus on what's around you and feel good as long as you're not plugging into media. Um, all soul contracts, histories, history, gifts, lessons, and more exist here. We each have access to this information of the past, present, and future, 
and can tap into it at any time. While we are free will, while we have free will, there are also points on the timeline of our lives that are predestined or pre-planned, soul contracts or agreements that were made before incarnating. It could be a company you chose to work for, a relationship you plan to have, or a person you agreed to mentor or help. Whatever it is, know that it is divinely guided and will not bypass you. If you are waiting for a sign to proceed, this card is it. You are likely living out an important part of your soul's journey, and you are exactly where you need to be. This is very exciting indeed. It is time to call in the support of your helpers, both in the physical realm and the spirit world, to trust the signs coming, to take note of your dreams. Take note of your dreams. Um, to notice any feelings or visions that you receive, for you are tapping into the wisdom of the Akasha, and you are being given the go-ahead to proceed. Hold this card on your heart and say... That kind of hard to see. Maybe I should hold it on my heart for all of us. I open up to receive the wisdom of the Akasha. I am ready to download any information from my soul records that is in my highest good and the highest good of all right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's beautiful. Am I supposed to wait for someone to bless me with cards or do I buy a deck of cards of my own? I see a deck coming for my birthday. Um, I've always uh, followed what I heard Mark Victor Hansen say back 30 years, 35 years ago when I started studying this stuff. Um, and that was, don't wait for someone else to give you a gift. Get it for yourself. <laughs> I never wait for somebody to give me a gift. If I want it, I get it for myself. I never wait. Unless I'm feeling to wait. All right, my loves. So keep this energy going all day. You're welcome. Keep this energy going all day. And um, sending so much love to Darcy's ankle. And so much love to Kathy's family. So much love, again, to Joelle's family. Um... Anything else that we've been hearing about, just sending love, 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 love to everybody. Keeping this energy. <laughs> yes. Um, Kathy says, I bought my own deck years ago. Yes. Um, just sending so much love to all of those in need. All of those struggling, just sending so much love. And I'm sending so much love to you. This is the Rain Purcell. I will see you on Friday for High Vibe Friday. Um, tell your friends about this space. They need it too. You're welcome, Darcy. And um, for more of my work, go to 3keys2selflove.com. Remember, 3 keys like you put in your car, 2selflove.com. And I'll see you in a couple of days, if not before. Yes, Daphne, sending healing vibes to you and wellness to that ankle. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much for joining me today. We'll talk soon.